Hey guys, Marshmallow Trump here, back with a T3 Arena video. Uh, this was a game suggested by Unique, and I am completely obsessed with it. It's really good. I've got loads of characters, and today we're going to be playing a mode called Clash. Clash is a really cool mode where it's 3v3 team deathmatch. However, you get one life each, and if you win with a character, you can't use that character going into the next round. And it's the first team to two wins, wins overall. Now, um, I found that generally I'm more of a tank player in this game, which is pretty interesting. I'm usually more support. Although, looking at this, if we're having a Jabali, which is a big old tank geezer. Uh, where is she? Can't find her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. I'll go with a medic to, you know, do, do the obvious. Help out, heal. Hopefully I have a formidable wall to take out our opponent. And uh, our teammate in the middle here can, I don't know, do a bit of flanking for us or something. They've, they too have a healer, so uh, best watch out for that. But yeah, I just want to, for the first video, just kind of show you guys what this game's all about, uh, why I love it so much, and uh, yeah. Honestly, this is the second match of Clash I played. I got MVP in the first one, but I'm not so sure that will continue. Don't worry, bro, I'm with you. All right, so what we've done is we've put an e healing orb on this guy, but it actually branches off and heals anyone near him too. So we got to stay close. And here we go. Oh god. Right, let's put a healing orb on myself. Ah, uh, this does not look good, does it? This does not look good. Okay, so our teammate can go invisible, so they ditched us, which is fair enough. They would have died if they hadn't. But, yeah. Well, at least our opponents can't play those characters this time. Not really sure how two of those characters work, so, you know. Ah, I was going to play Fort myself, to be honest. Um, sure, I'll, I'll try Healer again. Why not? It looks like Matico is the same. He plays Tank a lot. I am the exact same, but I wait for others to pick so I can support those choices. Okay, so they've gone... <sighs> Basically, like, two more uh, aggressive assassin sort of mobile classes, and the one that we've both got is a character who can spawn sentries. So really good on different maps. This one, I don't know, it's good for camping a door, I guess. But yeah, let's hook our tank up with the healing orb. Hopefully our teammate doesn't... Yep, nice. And now if we stick together, we should all get a load of heals. If this dude, yep, nice, sets up his bubble shield. Very good job. And we can just let loose with our machine pistol down this uh, choke point. One of our teammates is dead. Alright, so I'll put a healing orb on myself now. Uh, just because I kind of missed. <laughs> but it's fine, it, it, it's more or less the same. Thought so. Come on, this dude can finish him. Or I can. I'll take that. Okay. That was a nice round. That was quite easy. Um, Fort pretty much carried, which is the tank that that dude was playing. I think this time I'm going to take the charge and take the tank, since we can't play the healer anymore. So, um, one of my personal favourites is Victor. He's a very high, 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 high health. Close quarters. Uh, tank, he's not that great on this map. I should have probably picked someone else, to be honest. Uh, he's better on maps where the uh, teams don't all stick together. Oh god, they've got a two-tank team with a grenade launcher. Yeah, that's not going to go well for me. Uh, usually you use this to take out the assassins really easily. You just, uh, basically like the all-star on Garden Warfare, you sprint tackle into them, stun them, and then finish them out with a uh, couple of shotgun blasts. This time that's not going to happen. They've all got more health than me. I say grenades are already rolling. I'm just going to try rush them. Okay. Well, if none of them have come down this pathway, then yes. This is good. He's not noticed me. <laughs> okay, well, we got one of them. 
There we go, finish that one off. Now we just gotta find Fort. Here he is. He okay, I think is Bro disconnected? I think Bro disconnected. That's a sad moment. Honestly, I feel a bit bad, but uh, although who set up that shield? That could have been his shield. But yeah. I feel a bit bad, but hey, I got the flank on them and they didn't realise, so <laughs> that worked. I guess I got MVP with the uh, that guy again. Hey, someone sent me a like. I forgot you could do that. I should have sent that to my team. Because they were very good. Uh, well coordinated and they knew what they were doing with their characters. So, big ups. Did the guy send me a friend request? Oh, shoot, you did. That's nice. Yeah, of course, bro. There we go. Huh. I guess we'll join his party. Let's see what's happening. Don't know what that character is, but... Happy to play. Okay. I guess for this last one, we're going in with a, a teammate that we went in last time, which I think this is the guy who was playing tanks, right? So, probably pretty similar player to me, which is uh, always nice. And yeah, I guess he features in my first T3 Arena video, so cool. Ooh, Penthouse Gallery. This is a Crystal Assault map normally, so barely touch this map, I can't lie. Right, is Matsuko going to pick a tank? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jabali, probably my favourite. So if that's the case, I will pick Iris. Uh, help him out. Hopefully this guy, Hunter, comes with us. Because he'd be a great asset and help us out if we kind of stick together. Because what he can do is send out these grenades that spot enemies, but also give us bonus damage against them. So if he can do that, I can heal us and uh, Jabali can block. But that's, that's pretty much just game. We've got the perfect game plan. Now, Aki's playing Sniper. Uh, I can't remember his name. He's a very good character, but I so far on Clash, he's not been that good. However, I've not played on this map. He might be very good on this map, so... I guess... Uh, keep your heads down. Oh, let's get behind that. Oh, we've been blinded. There we go. <laughs> he threw a thing to blind us, like a massive uh, shadow column. But then didn't expect us to come out of it. He was just stood there. Like, yeah, so basically you throw down this grenade that's on back. Oh, am I? Ha. Huh. The game's broken. Oh, no, my ping's just ass. Sorry guys, my internet's poop. If I was that person, I would have jumped down here. <laughs> well, this is weird. Nice. Nice, great job. Here we go, okay. Oh, it just auto-assigned me to a character I've barely touched. Okay. Uh, so this character swaps between a shotgun and an assault rifle. I guess if I stick with Fort, get behind his shields. Uh, this this could work. I'd just rather be Victor or Jabali. Oh, no, it can't be Jabali, but yeah. I'd just rather not be this. I think it's Gloria, the character name. Yeah, it's working. This dude needs heals, though. Oh. Nice, time bomb them. Time bomb slows them down before it blows up, which is really nice against a class like that. Leaving for a swift 2 now, so... I wasn't intending to play that character in the slightest, but hey, it worked. Guess... Wh what can I say? Matsuko is the best. Can I give myself... You can give yourself a like? Okay. So, yeah. I think I'll end the video here, but I'm sure you can see why it's a lot of fun. And that's just one of the game modes in this game. You've got a uh, free-for-all, which is kind of like a battle royale. Uh, first to 15 kills, which is really fun. Um... You've got Team Deathmatch, you've got Crystal Assault where you both have to attack the other person's area. 
uh, like home base and they have to attack yours and protect yours. Sorry, bro. Free for all, I've already explained. Control, where it's just point control, so like King of the Hill. Payload race, the uh, control and payload race swap which on which one is on. Payload race is you both push a payload and you try and get yours to the end fa uh, before your opponent. Payload escort is um, just one payload and one team attacks, one team defends. This is more of a competitive mode. You'll find a lot better players here. But also, uh, sorry, let me turn this down. It's very loud. Um, also, you'll find that... Um, What was I going to say? Yeah, you get to pick your characters in the match depending on whether you're attack or defense. So you don't... For these other modes, these casual modes, whoever you are on the home screen, you go in as players. Whereas for the others... Oh, crap, crap, crap. No, no. <laughs> yeah, for the others, you get to pick when you enter the match. That's really cool. Before I go, I will say, if you want to play this game... If you could put in this invitation code and help me get a skin for Hunter, that would be really, really uh, cool. And I'd very much appreciate that because Hunter's so cool, man. Uh, I really like his character. If you want to add me, uh, my name is Marshmallow, all caps, C for Chomper, and then YT, both in caps, uh, so you know it's me. And then, uh, yeah, my most played characters. Mainly, I just play Yar in uh, trying to get trophies because... Obviously, with casual, you'll get a lot of bots uh, and noobs. Um, so I play her because that gives a lot of trophies and I can usually finish that mode fastest with her. And then for my actual advanced modes, like uh, Clash and Payload, es uh, yeah, Payload Escort, I play Jabali, Victor. I don't actually play Iris that much. I've just got four and I've been playing him a load. He's really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very much a tank player. But I'm open to all of them. All these characters are great. I've played them a bunch. Uh, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more of this video, uh, this game, sorry. And uh, I'll see you soon, whatever that may be. Peace.